in this video, I'm going to talk about the different the different types of mating that there are in the in the primates. So, um, from monkeys to apes to humans, there's uh, two there's two types of mating that can be seen in not just in 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 primates, but in all mammals, of which primates are part of the uh, you know the, the grouping. The first mating technique we'll call polygamy, or polygamous type. Uh, we find this in lots of mammals. We find it in lots of primates, and that is that the males line up in from alpha male down so they have a, 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 that's selected by um, aggression so they 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 will fight each other and then they'll form some sort of order of from from higher to lower of who gets the right to have sex with all of the females in the group um, and then the females will never really know who the parent is of their child uh, and the children are brought up by all of the other females in the group and the men sort of run the whole thing with an iron fist or sort of in a tyrannical fashion I suppose we find this this version this 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 type of mating amongst most primates um, and then it's exclusive within the group so you'll and the other type of the other mating technique is the pair bonding and we find this in orangutans gibbons and in humans um, actually we find both types in humans we find polygamous relationships and we find pair bonding in humans, um, which is another hint at our hybrid origin. The, the, the primates that, that are polygamous are exclusively po polygamous. You'll never find one of the group who just disappears with a male or female. You, know, you won't find a male and female pair off, go and do their own thing never go back to the group and never never interact with anyone in the group again they just they just want to be with each other um, and you'll never find the gibbons and the orangutans suddenly switch into to like a, a harem type situation where they you know go and collect together as many females as possible and uh, beat off any other competition any other male competition to keep um, the breeding rights. Uh, these two types of mating are exclusive within the species that practices them. So gibbons are exclusively monogamous and chimpanzees are exclusively polygamous. So we don't find either of them, either of those types crossing over. But within humans, you do find both of these sets of of uh, behavior characteristics, and they are instinctive. So they're built into the chimpanzee instincts, and they're built into the gibbon's instincts. The gibbon doesn't have to be told to be monogamous. He didn't learn to be monogamous from his parents. He just doesn't have the urge to be polygamous. His urge is for monogamy. The gibbon meets a female, um, chases her down, has sex with her. Once they've gone through that process of having sex, they are bonded forever. That's them. They're together for the rest of their lives. They'll stay together in everything they do. And they won't interact with other, other gibbons occasionally. I mean, they might meet them to fight. So they'll meet at the edge of their territory, 
But every morning, the male and the female go out and they'll swing through their trees in their territory and they'll shout and scream and make as much noise as they can just to let the other gibbons know this is the, this is the edges of my nation. <laughs> these are the edges of my, these are the boundaries of my, of my you know, individualistic nation. Uh, my nuclear family. Um, so the chimpanzees will get together into tribes or troops um, and they'll have pecking order within the males and they'll have a pecking order within the females. But essentially any male has a chance of, of uh, impregnating any female. It's just a matter of whether he's seed gets through the you know the bukaki party um that goes on in chimpanzee societies and again these are these are exclusive instinctive behaviors they can't be changed you can't you can't educate a chimpanzee to be to be monogamous you can't educate a gibbon to be polygamous. It's just how they feel. They're reacting to their instincts. It's inbuilt. It's evolutionary. It's been hardwired. And um, it's, it's just the way it is. And so with humans, we find that humans contain both sets of these instincts. They contain the pair bonding, monogamous instincts, but they also contain the polygamous instincts. Some societies have it in higher levels than others, but each one of us has varying amounts of them, and this is what makes up our society. So more people who are who are, have the um, monogamous gene or monogamous instincts, they still have the polygamous instincts, but these get pushed to the back like a shadow. They get pushed down. Uh, by you know pressure in society or whatever you want to call it pressure within the within the individual or the other one gets pushed up and so some societies these are seen as positive traits other societies these are seen as positive traits and the number of people you have in your society with this level is what determines your your general m moral values of the group you know, of the of the of the nation or society.